Hi guys! Hey! So we're doing another haul today for United Sweets again. Yay! Oh my god, we bought so much more candy as well. We basically bought more of what we didn't have and a few more of what we did have, but we wanted to also incorporate our review as well. So we're going to start off with what I've got here, which is actually a little bag of goodies that they actually gave my husband when he went into the store. How lovely of them. So United Sweets are actually really amazing and they really liked our first video that we did. So they thought they'd give us a couple of things so we could try and we are up for trying anything that's candy like or just general food substances. So thank you. Thank you. Um, so first up we've got these, which are Cheetos and they're like, oh my god, flaming hot crunchy. They are so hot. <laughs> I was loving it though. They're fantastic. I haven't actually finished the bag. I opened it a while ago, but to try it. Um, but they're really good. And if you like spicy things, it's definitely something you need to try. The next I, thing. Yeah, I personally didn't like those ones because I'm not a fan of spicy things, but Michaela loved them. Um, the next thing they gave us was Skittles Riddles. Which, if you're a Skittle fan, definitely try these. I always have loved like wild berry and all the different flavors of Skittle, and these riddles are fabulous. And you just never know what you're biting into. It's really but, confusing. Yeah, it's really cool though. <laughs> like, and so if you're not a fan, basically on the back it's got here. It's got all these different little confusing things which say like, oh, it could be this, but it could be this. So you definitely have to try them to find out if you like them. But if you like Skittles, I can guarantee you will love these. The next thing that they gave us, oh, these are really good, which are airheads, and I've never tried them before, but they're like kind of like zombie chews. We or have a try the orange one. Yeah, we tried the the pink we tried lemonade. Tried the pink lemonade, and it's really nice, and it's kind of it, yeah, it really do remind me of what's here in New Zealand, uh, which is the zombie chews. And zombie, the, zombie but chews. The, I don't zombie. think they had the 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 the, so the. It's like a almost like a tongue, and the pink lemonade one it was like um. Like pink, so it actually kind of looked like a tongue. <laughs> I wanted to go around like licking people, but um. so as you can see, it's kind of like chewy but soft. Mm. But mm. I like that that really tastes like orange, like it's a proper citrus flavor as opposed to like that sweet flavor. It's actually really nice. So yeah, that that one there was the airhead orange flavored one. And it's kind of like Fanta, but mm. not without the that fizz, which is kind of nice. It's always good to have. I got. Sour apple and sour strawberry. Now, I don't know if you guys tried Pop Rocks, but I love Pop Rocks. But this is really quite sour. I was not expecting it to be as sour as it was, which is fantastic. And there's actually quite a lot in there. So you don't need much for it to make that sour popping. And it is, it's really good. The lollipops are really decent lollipop. It's really nice, and and especially if you're a fan of apple stuff, this is a really good flavor. And like it says, it is artificially flavored, but it does taste really good, and it is quite close to the actual flavor. So it's really good, I, and I really love the pop rocks anyway. So you guys should enjoy these if you like popping candy. The next thing we got is a whole bunch of different Wonka treats. So we've got a few boxes here that have all been opened. Like we didn't want to do another unboxing video because one, we wanted to incorporate a sort of review and tell you what we actually thought of the product. And two, we were just too excited. I'm sorry, we couldn't wait. We couldn't wait. So the first one we got is sweet tarts. <laughs> and these are They're the sour ones. Like a little fizzy almost lollies. fizzy, like those little sherbetty lollies you can get. But they're kind of sour as well, so that Hence the name tart. You expect it to be kind of sour, and these are really, really yummy. And there's lots of different flavors in here as well. Um, tangy candy. They're just really good, just to suck on. Yeah, it's a good treat to have. Like, yeah. and the next ones we've got, we got bottle caps. We've actually tried the bottle caps before, so we haven't opened the box yet. Um, but they they, they kind of look like this, and Sam's not really keen on like the root beer and the cherry, and it's kind of hard to tell which ones are which because yeah. they are very similar brownie colours. But if you're not as fussy as I am with flavours, then you will be absolutely fine because uh, you'll you love it. Will you will love it. So and then we got 
Wonka runs and um, you have been able to find these at some supermarkets for a while and one of those like pull down things that you stick into a bag but it wasn't the original Wonka runs and so yeah, these they ones were here, different ones. Yeah, these are amazing. and These just... are the Wonka runs and they are fabulous but the ones they did used to sell at the supermarkets they used to be really really good and then they changed them with these new horrible ones and they're like weird bitty and they feel funny. Mm -hmm. So these ones I definitely, if you like banana lollies these have the best banana flavored things I've ever tasted and I'm not a big fan of banana in general but the banana flavor is so good and it's so it's really real and it's so amazing so you will definitely love these if you love like all kinds of yeah they're all just stuff. different pieces of fruit and it, the lolly actually looks like a piece of fruit so it's, <laughs> it's actually really, really cool. shaped, like, shaped and like it's it. cool to put on cakes and things like that because it's like decorative <laughs> so oh, it's really, really good awesome. And if you love nerds, then you'll love this. Apparently, they actually sold out of these because I had to get Robin to go back and get a box of these. And he still didn't come back with them. So I had to actually get these from another candy place that I've actually mentioned before called Kirby's Candy. So I was just going to incorporate this in our Wonka bits because that, that's still a really good place to go for any, like, American lollies that you're looking for, especially things like this, which you can't get in New Zealand very often. But you know, Sweets does sell these. They Hopefully do sell these. They're back in stock now. If we don't they, buy they did look like that. They they had a picture up the other day. They said, "Well, this escalated quickly with a lot <laughs> of these." <Yeah. laughs> so. Um. The next thing we have is the Wonka Everlasting Gobstopper. It says jawbreakers that can change colours and flavours. So it's pretty much like in the movie, you know, the Veruca, is that her name? She's the one that wants to eat the Gobstopper or something? I don't know. One of them eats the Gobstopper and it changes flavours and colours and like... You can kind of suck on it for a while and it sort of, it almost helps curb your eating habits as well because you're just sucking on one thing for such a long time, so. The, the good thing about it is you don't have to eat many of them to get a really good flavour. Um, and the everlasting, it does last quite yeah. a while. Like, if you buy the chewy, you expect to chew it within maybe a, a minute or two. But if you get those, you definitely have to make sure you wait until a, at least two minutes before you can actually bite <laughs> down into it. Otherwise, you will hurt your mouth. Jawbreaker. <laughs> it's like a disclaimer right there. Exactly. And there, there should be some sprees here. Oh, yeah. They're good. These are interesting. We didn't actually know what to expect with the spree, um, but they're basically, they're just like a little lolly thingy. I'll just grab it. And they're really, really bright, and the inside's like slightly sour. Yeah, they're mm. really, really odd, mm -hmm. but I like them. What flavour is that? That's like a red one. Hold on. Yeah, is that cherry? I don't think so. If it is, you can just give it to me. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, but yeah, like they taste really sweet. Like it's got the candy coating around side it to begin with. And then once you get down a little bit further, it's got like a sour kick. And they're really nice. Mm. Um, yeah. They're really, really good. All right. We, I talked about the Pop Rock earlier, but we also got a theater pack or a variety pack. Yeah, but it, it's basically just a big pack. And it's, when you open it up, it's got a couple of like sachets. They look like sachets. And so, got a couple of flavours. We've got, only got two flavours. we got strawberry and watermelon. You can see that. Um, which is quite nice. The strawberry is really good. And I mean, watermelon, if you like watermelon, it's definitely a really good one. So, the next thing we got a couple of is a couple of different packets of Lifesaver gummies. So, we've got... The Wild Berry, which has um, black raspberry, strawberry, blackberry, white grape, cherry berry, and red raspberry. Then there's, and then, then there's this one, which is just the gummies. Um, and there's orange, strawberry, green apple, cherry, and watermelon. Really good. And this is basically the same thing, but it's actually like the sours. They're just sour. And they've got, they're not very sour, they're nice and lightly soured, so it's just basically a little bit of a sugar coating. So they taste really nice. If you like sour stuff, this is definitely one to go for, and definitely try it. They have a really nice flavour. Sam said she was kind of disappointed with just the, the, the gummies, but she said she really liked the berry ones. Mm -hmm. So these ones are... At first, I said I was disappointed because I was thinking of the New Zealand Starburst gummies that we can get and how flavourful they are. 
but I think that's just because I've been eating a whole ton of candy and my sugar senses had just gone down so after I tried it again a bit later I realized that it does just have just as much flavor as the Starburst one and it just looks like a, a lifesaver except that it's gut moon, it comes in the different flavours, so they're actually really, really good. They come in a decent size pack too as well, which mm. I just thought, you know. And it's resealable, so it's sort of... Yeah, you can just put the, mm. you know, that, put them that, away. They're really good. It was just my initial thought because I've been eating so much candy, <laughs> I couldn't taste anything anymore. <laughs> um, something else that I had bought was these cherry sour balls. I expected them to be hard. But when I sucked on them for oh. a little bit, they're actually not. They're kind of like chewy and they're really nice. They're they're nice. They're not really sour, but they're like really sweet and like kind of tart. So definitely something if you like cherry stuff, it's always a, a killer when it comes to most people. Um, if you're <laughs> like me and majority of people would know that Dr. Pepper is like cherry flavoured and so is like they've got a lot of cherry flavor. Basically the secret ingredient in anything British, according to my husband, is cherry. So yeah, definitely something like if you if you're wanting something awesome and cherry flavoured. Cherry sour balls. Then we got a packet of the chewy warheads. We actually got a couple of the original warheads in our last one, which we ate, and we wanted to do a warhead video, but we haven't got around to that yet. So um, these are the sour chewy warheads, and it has a few different flavors. And these are really interesting looking, actually. They sort of look like this. They're like gummy cube things. They're kind of hard. I'm just looking through to get a flavor that I'll actually eat. Blue raspberry sounds good. So they just look like a little cube. They're kind of hard. Um, they're really not that sour, to be completely honest. Like, just tastes like a regular gummy. But yeah, they they didn't seem to have much sour on them, um, even when we first opened it. So, but the texture of them is actually amazing. It's like no other lolly that I've ever eaten before. And they taste really good. So. They do, and they have a very strong flavour as well, mm, which is really very, good. Very, very strong. So they're not really sour, but they're nice and, like, like they've got that nice coating over top of them.